Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Cancer for the week of October 10th through the 16th of 2022. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up and a very special thanks to those of you who have subscribed as well as those who have left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Cancer, on that note, your first card out is Eight of Swords. So, sorry for the background noise. My neighbors are making some renovations. So, sorry about that. All right. So, your Eight of Swords. You know, you have something that about you this week that's quite precious and you're holding it inside. You're not sharing it with the world. You know, try not to be in fear of being yourself. But you're going to take those blindfolds off this week and step into you. And the Queen of Cups. Well, this could be yourself or your other half. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're very caring, loving, sharing. They're great, very good managers. They're very romantic. You know, I think this one for you, Cancer, is telling you to follow your intuition this week. Follow your hunches. It's telling you which way you should go and what you should do and Maybe you should pay a little more attention. Your intuition is very high. And the chariot. So for some of you, you're thinking of taking a trip. Just a short one, not any great distance. You know, maybe getting in the vehicle and just wandering off for a few hours, that sort of thing. You know. Just for others, make sure that you're not overlooking anything or overthinking too much as best you can. You're going to make a decision this week for whether this is your job or moving or taking a trip in the future, but you're moving forward. You're going with what you know is the right path for yourself. And the Page of Cups, so good news coming in, unexpectedly. Some sort of opportunity is going to show up for you. You know, this could be good news about romance or family affairs going on. You're thrilled about the invitation, the friendships spark into a little bit more for some, but you're quite happy with your beginning of your week this started out with and the page of pentacles so definitely good news opportunity new beginnings coming in things are just sort of lining up if this is a career for some of you it's unexpected it just sort of plunks down for you you know you're realizing that you have to make a choice in your life for others this week you need to close some doors, whether that's on friendship or home life or residence to move forward into the future for the better. And the devil. So definitely trying to figure out what you need to break ties with going forward. Not quite sure which way you should be going. You're feeling tethered to something or someplace or someone being held back, trying to figure out how to break away from what binds you so that you can not feel so restrained. And the Five of Cups, a little bit of nostalgia, looking back, thinking about which way you're going, what you've let go of this far, for others of you, you're just thinking back over times in your life when, you know, 
you let things go and wondered, was it the right timing for that? And for others, it's thinking about moving to a different position in your life, letting go of bad memories, bad places, bad things. You know, but there's two more cups full and on offer. You haven't really lost anything. This is your moving forward. And the three of rods on solid ground, looking out, realizing all that you've put out there into the world, just sort of waiting for it to come back. You're trying to make a decision on which way you want to go with what's on the offer for you, what you got to give up. And the queen of rods. So fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. They're very fast moving. When they make decisions, they're sort of snap decisions, but they know they're the right ones for them. They're full of energetic. They go forward in life. Maybe this is somebody that you know or that you affiliate yourself with. And they're telling you, let's, let's go try this. Maybe you're getting into a new adventure in your life. And the five of swords. So having to, you know, defend yourself, stand your ground, you know, t not taking anything from anybody anymore. You've had enough of that. You've decided to keep a lot of things to yourself going forward into the future. You don't want to, you know, let your guard down and, you know, let people know a little bit too much about you, that sort of stuff, which is okay because sometimes that's the best Best note. And the justice card. Okay. And for some of you, this could be the ending of some sort of contract. A settlement for others. Um, for those of you unfortunate, uh, this could be a divorce settlement going in as well. Some sort of legal contract coming in for you. Something that you have to sign or deal with. You know, whether this is settling old accounts or debts, but there's something coming in for you that some sort of paperwork that you have to deal with so that you can move forward into the future. And judgment. You know, you've put off making this decision, whatever it is, whether it's signing that paper or handing in your documents or letting go of some sort of lease that holds you you know you've been putting this off for quite some time and now you're starting to realize that I need to deal with this in order to go forward for yourself so you know trust yourself follow your intuitions you know because you know you got you know in your gut that you have to let something go in order for more better coming in And the Emperor. So for some of you, this could have been, you know, in a job situation where you felt that anything you did wasn't quite enough, no matter what or how good it was. You always felt unappreciated. For others of you, this could even be in a relationship. You know, you're finding your own independence here deciding to let all of this go so that you can get away from, you know, being held back or feeling you're being held back. It's hard to do, but it's essential for you. And the magician and something new is going to pop right down in your lap. You know, you you know, you may have to make, face a difficult decision, but you know it's the right one for you. And, and the answer is going to come to you just like out of the blue, which is nice. Just stay focused. And it'll happen in the right way for you. <laughs> and the Ten of Cups. So most definitely coming in in the right direction. You know, happy life, happy home, having enough, feeling content, some sort of wish fulfillment for you. Something that, you know, whether it's good love, good times, creative ideas, you're overflowing with them. It's a happy goal. 
this time for yourself. You're developing lasting relationships, family, friends, co-workers, getting along with your team members, neighbors. You just, everything's coming up in a good note for you, which is wonderful to see, Cancer. I mean, you're going to be quite happy this week. And the Hermit. Taking a well-deserved time out for yourself. Looking about, you know, all that you accomplished this week. Knowing that you need to take a little bit of quiet time for yourself. Turn off the phone. You know, shut the doors. Just have a quiet get-together or a nice dinner for some of you. You know, just enjoying your each other's company, your friendships. Maybe you're going to visit somebody and just, you know, leaving your cell phone in the vehicle, that sort of thing. You're just taking a well-deserved, quiet, peaceful week. Because it looks like you've been through a fair amount of different ups and downs for yourself. But they're going to turn out quite well. Especially with that Ten of Cups. That's a beautiful card to see for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an Angel Oracle card. But yeah, your overall week is quite pleasant. <clears throat> Pardon me. You know, but you have solid grounds. There's, you know, a few things that you're going to have to make decisions that you've, you know, put on the back burner. For some of you, it's far too long, and now you're going to just figure it out and deal with it because you want it to stop. All right. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Well, there you go. Very nice. All right, Capricorn, you're going to have a good week. You really are. Things are going to come together quite nicely for you. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now and talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.